Hello and welcome to Moments of Truth on Labour Social. I'm Graham Hughes. Today we're leading with the story that three out of four red wall voters believe that nothing, nothing works in Britain anymore. In fact, 91% of red wall voters think things are worse than before and 80% believe the social contract has collapsed. Why do you think that is? Why, why could, could you imagine in your wildest dreams why that might be? Overall, 58% of the surveyed adults think nothing in Britain works anymore, and 76% believe things are worse, th worse than in the past. Only 30% of respondents are optimistic about the future, and I think that is quite remarkable. 30%, and that means that 70% aren't. You know, when we talk about the damage that the Tories have done to this country. We often talk about the sociological damage. We also talk about the, the environmental damage and the uh, econ economic damage as well. But let's just talk for a moment about the psychological damage that these Tories have done to our country. Only 30%, 30% of people surveyed were optimistic about the future, 70% pessimistic. 70% either saying, well, I'm not sure, or I, I don't think things are getting better. And there is concerns um, over the UK's ability to compete internationally and to prepare for the future, something that we've done absolutely nothing on over the last few years because we have been obsessed, obsessed with leaving the EU, that like that was going to be a panacea, that was going to be a cure-all for all of the nation's ills. Anything bad that's happened to you in your life, it would be cured by us. Just We just leave the EU then everything would be better. Personal disillusionment is widespread, with many feeling they aren't, they, they are not realizing their potential and that they're lacking control over their lives. And I get it. I absolutely get that 100%. Words used to describe Britain in 2023 included broken, mess, expensive, struggling, disaster, poor, divided, shambles, and corrupt. Now, this data came out of a new progressive think tank called the New Britain Project, which aims to develop policies to address the cost of living, productivity gap, struggling public services, etc. And it also aims to help Labour win back public trust and turn things around. I mean, this is going to be a huge job. And, and when we talk about what Labour should be doing from day one, once they get into power, hopefully in the next general election, after the next general election, there's so much that needs to be done. But the, f the first few years of a new Labour government is literally going to be just trying to correct some of the mistakes, the terrible, terrible mistakes that the Conservatives have made before we can go on to the, you know, the things that I would like to see now, like PR and UBI and us getting back into the EU, that's going to have to be put on hold because of the amount of damage that the Tories have inflicted on this country. Keir Starmer has accused the Tories of overseeing the demise of British industry, which, yeah, they have, while the, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has defended Britain's influence and denied the idea of decline. Yeah. So that, that, let's get this straight. 90%, no, 91% of red wall voters think worse, things are worse than before. So I, I think that, that that red wall is going to be quite well and truly well rebuilt by the time the next election comes around. Uh, it, it, at the moment, the country is in an absolutely so, sorry state. And all we can do is point it out. Just say, look, this is what's happening. And for God's sake, if you have any friends or family, relatives, whatever, who are thinking of voting Tory in the next election, please, for the love of God, have a word with them.